Hello, this is the third video in a series of five videos of a tutorial of a BWR simulator. BWR stands for Bowling Water Reactor. And in this video, we'll be dealing with the connection of the turbine. So with the permission of Nicola Pasich and Huawei Corporation, we start the tutorial. If we go to the tutorial part of the software, we see that we already did the reactor criticality, reactor heat up, and in this lesson, we'll deal with the turbine startup. So we go back and we initialize the conditions for turbine startup. We see that the reactor pressure vessel is already um, heated up at 527 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure of the vessel and the steam lines it's at 840 psi we are in the intermediate range 9 and we are at one percent of average power uh, so we are at this moment creating heat so increasing this we see if we look at the period that we are subcritical now with a negative period so the cones per second per second are decreasing now it goes to infinity and if we wait a bit, it will go to positive. This oscillation, oscillating behavior is because when the reactor heats up here, it decreases the activity. But when it, once it cools down because of the surrounding of the primary coolant is still cool, it increases again. And it keeps happening and happening in a stable cycle. Now we'll start withdrawing rods because we want to increase the pressure until 920 psi at this pressure we will um, we will be able to put the reactor in running mode now is in startup mode in run mode we will be able to go above the 10 percent uh, uh, average power which is a hundred percent IRM indicator so let's withdraw bars sixteen next bar the fifty eleven and as always taking care of the period not being too low sixty a notch more position 12 we got to 50 let's range up now we're in the final range of the intermediate range monitor and we're increasing with a period of 80 seconds let's withdraw a bit more to 16 and we see the pressure increasing, 869 and 870 with a period of 45 seconds. The average power 2%. Next row, 58, 19 with a maximum position of 16. We see the cones indicator going to infinity so continue with rowing bars rods sorry we don't want to surpass four percent in the average power indicator because this would uh, surpass the safe range of heating 16, next rod. And we see the pressure just reached 920. At this value, we can already uh, put the reactor in run mode. We see that the bypass valve is open, and we see here the flow in the bypass position. The function of the bypass is bypassing the turbine, so the pressure in the turbine doesn't increase too much. We see now the turbine is at a speed of 3 RPM, so it's in idle mode. 
and the bypass takes all the extra uh, steam that comes from the reactor without creating additional pressure in the turbine. So now we have 923. We can already switch to run mode. Okay, now we are in run mode. It means we don't have any more the, the upscale limit in the IRM indicator and we will not have the scrum when we reach 120. So we can increase, keep increasing the reaction by withdrawing control rods. Okay, uh, I see I have a control rod withdraw block. APRM downscale bypass valve open. Why is this? I don't know. Let's wait a bit. Okay. I want to run mod too early. I will go back to startup. So we need two conditions for being in run mod. We need to have a pressure of 920 psi, but we also need a 10% of power in the uh, a five percent of power in the average power indicator. So let's keep withdrawing. Next. Next. Now careful because we are in startup, so we could have a scrum if we reach 120. So let's switch to run now. And we see that we already surpass 120, we didn't have scrum because we are in running mode. And we didn't have the downscale in the average power indicator and we are at 13%. We see the bypass position at 56%. So now uh, we are ready to connect the turbine. We cannot, we can never reach 100%. If this happens, the bypass will not be able to alleviate the pressure in the turbine and we will see the pressure here increasing and when this reach, reaches some limit the reactor will uh, shut down with the scram. So now we have stability in the cost per second, we have 14% of thermal power, we have this bypass position of 60%, we are in running mode, we are ready to connect the turbine. First of all we select the run up rate to slow because the turbine is cold at this moment and we select 900 rpm. So I click 900 rpm and we see the rpm indicator increasing slowly up to 900. Once it reaches 900 we'll, we will need to wait two minutes because the blades of the turbine are still cold and if we keep increasing to the nominal range of 1800, we could damage the metal of the blades. Because this is a simulator, I will take up some risk and I will keep increasing without waiting two minutes, but uh, what the, the correct procedure is to wait two minutes between the first stage of 900, let the blades reach an homogeneous temperature with the steam coming from the reactor and then keep increasing to 1800 RPMs. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. And nine hundred. Turbine at selected speed, nine hundred RPM. Now let's say we already waited for the time to to reach an homogeneous temperature in the blades and we select 
fast run up rate and we click 1800 rpms we see the speed starts to climb and we'll see when it reaches 1400 the voltage will be connected we will apply a voltage to the starter of this turbine the generator of the turbine and we will see the frequency rising up now until 60 hertz because we are in the american grid when the turbine reaches the nominal velocity of 1800 rpms now we are almost at nominal nominal 1800 rpm 60 hertz 22 kilovolts and we see here the synchrony we are not in synchrony so it means compared to the grid what's the difference in degrees we see this going back and now what we need to do is to apply the generator brake when we're in synchrony for this we need to change the velocity so with these two buttons raise and low raise and lower now we're going back so i need to raise 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 still going back raise now we're going forward when we're between 350 and 360 i need to click close so let's repeat the operation So go a bit behind and click raise and now between 50 and 60 now okay we're in synchrony in synchrony with the grid we see here we have a megawatt electric of production the bypass is still at 32 percent because we have the governor set at seven percent so we only want seven percent of the nominal electrical capacity for the moment and why is it so important to close this at the correct moment between 350 and 360 degrees? Because if we click behind, uh, before 350 or after 360, we will break the turbine. This is very serious because breaking a turbine will mean not millions of dollars of losses, but uh, thousands of millions. Because the power plant will be not operating during maybe years until they can repair it and the, the new pieces and everything can cost thousands of uh, millions so billions of dollars so now we're in synchrony and this is the end of this tutorial in the next tutorial we will see how we increase the power from this range to to nominal so we will see this governor set we will increase this governor set and we will see how this uh, production of megawatts increases to the nominal capacity okay see you in the next simulation tutorial Bye.